Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Sean Walsh. I'm from the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and this is my video submission for the Good Good Championship. Um, a little bit about me. Like I said, I'm from the Dallas-Fort Worth area, basically raised here ever since I was little. Uh, ended up going to Gonzaga University um, in the fall of 2012 and graduated in the spring of 2016. Uh, had a pretty good year or a pretty good career there. Um, won a couple amateur events like the North-South and then... Um, Another couple of college wins, which is really nice. Gave me a little momentum into 2017 when I turned pro. Um, ended up playing up in Canada in 2017 and 2018 down in Latin America. Um, was finally able to get Corn Ferry status at the end of 2018. But unfortunately, a snowman ain't going to get it done on the 70th hole. And so um, that dropped me from about 50th to 90th, which basically put me from guaranteed starts to uh, conditional. And so, unfortunately, didn't really have anything come out of the conditional except for being able to go play the developmental tours again, kind of freely. So ended up playing China for a little bit in 2019, ended up an entire summer up in Canada again in 2019 as well. Uh, and then the pandemic came 2020. Um, unfortunately, I kind of still stuck at that PGA Tour Canada level um, with the one thing COVID did, um, especially within the developmental tours was basically make it unable, you unable to move up um, because of the, up the hierarchical ladder there. Um, so was kind of stuck at, uh, in Canada and stuff like that basically in 2020 and 2021. But uh, one of the cool things about 2020 is that my business partner, Skylar Fennell and I, uh, we started our own mini tour. Um, when the pandemic rolled through, we were like, well, what the heck are we gonna do now? And um, we had some complaints about kind of some of the ways that mini tours were run. Um, we didn't like the lack of transparency, especially with a thousand plus dollar entry fees. We didn't like the, a lot of the money uh, being paid out super top heavy, um, a lot to first, especially just in a weekly mini tour event. Um, you know, we're all there to, you know, basically get those competitive reps, you know, without losing our butt. And so, um, so we created our own mini tour and we had, we hosted eight events in 2020. We hosted nine events in 2021. And um, yeah, it was really awesome. We decided to follow the Corn Ferry Tour Monday qualifiers and we'd host um, three day events after that. And it was great. Um, had a lot of positive feedback from that and uh, still don't know quite what we're going to end up doing um, kind of into the future with that. But um, yeah, obviously it was a really, really cool thing. Um, oh, and we had some events in 2022 as well. I forgot about that. But uh, yeah, anyway. Um, about my golf. Yeah, I unfortunately, um, I got hurt playing on the form tour, PJ tour Canada in America in 2021, wasn't able to do Q school, but, um, had a series of state opens and things like that, that I was able to play in last year, 2022 and played really nice. Um, I think my highest score in the year was a 75 and my scoring average was just, I think it was around 6902. Um, so played really, really solid golf. Um, yeah, had a good year. I think anytime that I think I made four thousand dollars like net, so that that's a really good year for a mini tour guy. Um, so um, I felt rich, <laughs> but um, yeah, ended up at Q School and uh, got through the first stages of both Euro and Corn Ferry, and unfortunately had some narrow misses. Uh, Corn Ferry Q School or Corn Ferry second stage, I missed by two, and then European kind of got another bad draw and ended up with the flu the first three out of the first four days and ended up missing that by three, getting to final stage of Euro playing for a European tour card. So kind of back to back to the bottom of the ladder a little bit for 2023, but uh, we've gotten off to a really nice start playing well in some mini tour events and got a, lot, a series of state opens and stuff coming up this summer as well. Um, but obviously would be incredibly honored to um, – be in the field to compete with all the great players that you guys are going to get for that good, good championship. Uh, yeah, I mean, a little bit about me. It's like I've done not not asking for, you know, I mean, and I, this isn't a sob story, but it's like I've, I've funded a lot of uh, my pro golf basically with me and thankfully have um, great parents and a great wife that are there to be a safety net for me at worst case scenario if I need help picking up the rest of a credit card bill or something. But uh this would be fantastic. I mean, it, it's a fantastic idea what you guys have, especially as running mini tour events myself. I know how awesome it is to have added money um, into the purse. And so it's really cool what you guys are doing. And obviously that would be incredibly um, beneficial to me as well if I could 
get into the field and especially play well. So, um, again, thank you for the opportunity. Love what you guys do. Uh, love the addition of Quan. He's kind of my boy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know why you got like guys let that clown in there, but no, you guys are good doing good stuff, man. So, uh, we really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, hope to see you guys in, uh, Phoenix in May. Thanks guys.